Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Small Four Zero B. Today we'll be predicting the Concacaf Nations League semifinals: Panama versus Canada, Canada versus Panama, USA versus Mexico. So this is the place for you guys. Remember, guys, to like your like this video, enjoy. Tell me your predictions, comments below, guys. And like I said, guys, we'll be doing our match previews. Let's start with the first game, which you have here is Canada versus Panama. For me, Canada is coming into this game as favorites. John Herdman has done a fantastic job with his team. He's got them to punch above their weight. And they did so well. Yes, the World Cup was a disappointment, you know, but we have to put things in perspective. They were in a gr very difficult group, and that was a second ever appearance of the World Cup. So we have to put context in very key here in that they were pot four for the draw. I can assure you, if they were like pot three or pot two, they would have done so much better. It's just the pot four, it was just really, it just wasn't the best, you know. And it was a difficult group. You know, we had uh, two semifinals of the World Cup came from there. So Croatia and Morocco, respectively. So got to give them some credit, man. Got to give them some credit. So, my thing with Canada is that I want to see them go back to their original style. One of my big concerns for Canada, the World Cup, is that they were playing too attack-minded and they were too, playing too possession-based. What made, what made Canada so good in the qualifiers was how well they were able to absorb the press and how devastating they were in the counter-attack. I feel like, for me, my issue with Canada is that they were playing too much possession-based and that didn't really work out, you know? And I think for Panama, yes, they may not have the players that Canada's level. I know, like, the likes of Davis and Alphonse, um, David... They play, they're a very good team. Andreas Christensen has done, I'm uh, sorry, not Andreas Christensen, uh, Thomas Christensen. I think about the Barca center back. Thomas Christensen's done a fantastic job with this team. You know, this team is very well organized and they know how to frustrate you, right? Defensively, they're solid. And I, I would say their attack is probably the underwhelming part of this team. I think their defensive midfield is decent. It's just their attack for me is what's the real issue with this team is that they don't have that kind of, kind of clinical guy in the team, you know? And they have some decent players like Mejo is decent. Obviously, you also have um, the goal scorer, Oliver Torres. He's decent as well. And I just feel like for me, man. Um, oh, so not Oliver Torres. Gabriel Torres. Sorry, correction there. And I just feel like for me, for Panama, man, this is going to be interesting. My prediction, guys, Canada should be winning this. I'm going to say it's going to be a good, close game. I do think Canada will slightly edge this, though. I think this will be close. I'm going to go with the 1-0 win. I feel like, for me, Panama will be very defensive in this game. And I feel like Canada will have a hard time breaking down. Uh, the one opportunity Canada get, they'll be clinical. I could see this going to extra time, uh, 90 minutes. I don't see this going to penalties. It could very well go to penalties. I'm going to go with Canada to win 1-0. Moving on to the other semifinal, the one I'm more excited for personally, is USA versus Mexico. This is a big one. Huge one. Right? There's a lot riding upon this one, guys. And there will be a live match reaction, guys. So please subscribe to get notified. Whenever I go live, because we will be doing a live match reaction for this game. Yes, I know it's crazy. I'm doing a match reaction at midnight my time. But that's that that's the beauty of this game, man. It's a derby at the end of the day. Both of these nations hate each other in football, guys. And the hatred for one another is huge. See the thing with my thing with the USA is that USA should win this game. USA for me should be the favorites for this game. That being said, USA is going through a lot of issues off the pitch in particular, with our coaching staff. With the player selections and everything, there's been a lot of dispute going on, right? And I feel like players have to perform very well in this game. And I feel like the absence of Tyler Adams will be very much felt in this game because he is a very, very important player. We saw how good he was in the World Cup, guys. He was fantastic. One of USA's best players, instrumental in controlling the midfield and our being our best CDM. And he is very, very important. Obviously, Christian Pulisic will also need to step up. Not for not for the USA's sake, but also for his club's sake. Because Chelsea is, he's probably going to leave Chelsea. He's very likely to leave Chelsea this summer. And it'll be interesting to see if he can replicate, have the kind of masterclass kind of performance in this kind of game to, you know, give clubs that buy option. You know, say, hey, you know, maybe you should pursue me, you know. Um, and then obviously for Mexico, man, I, it's big decisions made from the new coach. I forgot his name. I think it's Cadoyo. Yeah, he's the new coach. He's done a good job with the team, you know, unbeaten so far. Granted, it's only been friendlies and, you know, some competitive games here and there, but this will be a huge test, right? And he left out two big name players, which I thought was very, very interesting. He left out Raul Jimenez and left out Lozano. And I just think it shows how both these players have been so underwhelming that they have to be omitted, right? And look out for the guy, Santiago Jimenez. This guy is a really good talent. I really rate him highly. And I think this is a guy that could cause issues for the USA. He's been he's been firing up for Feyenoord, man. Um, you know... And so, this is going to be an interesting game, you know, and I'm, I'm really keen to see how that midfield battle goes, you know, the likes of Edson Alvarez. I, I would expect Edson Alvarez to actually dominate your midfield because Tyler Adams is not going to be there, so who's going to stop him, you know? And then it's going to be interesting for the center back in position in particular, who's going to be that center back for the USA, because obviously, um, 
Cameron Carter Vickers is not in the roster. So it's going to be I, I I'm almost assured that um um Chris Richards will start, and it's going to be a matter of who's going to start alongside Richards. Is it going to be Miles Robinson or Walker Zimmerman? My prediction for this game, I'm going to go for USA to win Dos Acero. And for those that don't know what Dos Acero means, it means 2-0. It's the literally the Spanish version. It, dos means 2. A means nil. Sorry, no, 2 means, um, uh, sorry, Cero means nil, right? And so it's like Dos A Cero. So, like, 2-0, man. So, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win for the United States, man. I'm really excited for these games, man. Let me know your score predictions in the comments below, guys. Remember, guys, to subscribe to the channel to be notified. Like this video if you enjoy. And remember, guys, we'll be doing a live match reaction at midnight on Friday, Ju uh, June 15th. It should be an interesting game. Sorry, June 16th. Sorry, June 16th, guys. June 16th. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.